So you're frustrated because getting your observation hours pretty much sucked or came at a standstill as soon as COVID-19 hit. You're frustrated because you've been trying to get your observation hours in from outpatient, inpatient, neuro, ortho, and you had it all planned out for the next two years, but all of it is gone because of COVID-19. And lastly, now you went through all that and you're frustrated, you're still frustrated because you've been trying to get jobs, aids, volunteer opportunities for observation hours and you cannot get them. <sighs> well, guess what? You're in luck because in this video, I'm going to teach you what you need to know to ace your PT aid or volunteer interview. And lastly, I'm going to teach you how you should act or behave or things you should do and give you tips on when you're working as a PT aid or your observation hours and what you can do to become a better employee or a better aid or volunteer. So make sure you watch to the end of this video so that you can gain all of that knowledge, especially if you're frustrated right now trying to get observation hours during COVID-19. Lego. Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Dr. Lift for Change, or you can call me Justin Lee. Here on this channel, you'll find videos on everything related to the physical therapy journey from being a pre-physical therapy student, trying to go through the application process to being a DPT student and to being a working physical therapist. And you'll also find videos on helping you as a student perform better in all aspects of life, including study habits, including time management and relationships and finances. So if you're interested in the wonderful world of PT and you're interested in trying to elevate your performance and become that high achieving high performer, then you should subscribe and hit those notifications so you don't miss a video when it drops. Yo guys, I'm super excited. If you haven't heard yet, I did start and launch a Facebook group. It's called Levator Nation. And now I'm going to be talking to you guys because you guys are now called levators. <laughs> I love it. I call it levator nation because the levator scapulae muscle right here in the neck, when it flexes, it rotates the head towards the muscle belly. And us as levators, when we flex, we turn our head towards greatness. <laughs> So if you're a student or if you're someone who's interested at all in physical therapy and you're a student trying to elevate your success in not only your finances, your study habits, your time management, your fitness, nutrition, then you should join the channel. I'll put all of that in the link below. I'll see you there. Oh, and one more thing. We do go live. I do go live every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to answer your questions on Q&A. And make sure you tune in every single week because we can go over and chat as to where we can improve your application or maybe you're struggling through some class or maybe a clinical rotation. So let's talk about that every Tuesday, 6 p.m. I'll see you there. How to ace your interview when you get that opportunity. Now, I made a full, full, full video talking about this very topic but I'm just gonna share one quality that you should try to elevate or model yourself towards because this quality will not only help you land that physical therapy aid job, but it'll help you land that physical therapy student position in the class, in that cohort, and it'll help you land that first physical therapy therapist job after you graduate because all those opportunities, all those times in your life, this one thing, this one characteristic, this one quality is gonna help you stand out and people are gonna recognize and see it because it is so obvious when someone carries this quality. And this quality is, drum roll please, the eagerness to learn and grow. Now, I'm sure you've heard the term before, never stop learning. This is literally why. If you stop learning, then you stop growing. 
If you stop growing, then that means you're complacent because that means you're the same. If you're the same, that means you're actually declining because as time goes on and you stay the same, the world is actually getting elevated and growing. So if you don't have that eagerness, that desire, that inside to outside want to grow or learn and to become better, to become a physical therapist, if you have the ambition to look at the qualities and to see how can I grow in my communication skills? How can I grow in my clinical decision-making skills? How can I grow in my time management skills? These are the things that are gonna help you to get that aided job, to get into PT school and to get that first physical therapist job opportunity. So remember, eagerness to grow and learn is gonna be huge. But if you want more information about that, make sure you check out that video. How you should act when you are observing. So for the most part, you will be observing. You won't really be too much hands-on. You won't be talking to the patients too much. I mean, it does depend on which state and which location that you live in or you're practicing. But for the most parts, physical therapy aids cannot really be too hands-on. Now, if you're a volunteer, for sure you won't be hands-on. You'll definitely be observing. So I always recommend students try to be an aide because then you are more touchy, hands-on and stuff instead of just IE, visual kind of thing, right? Um, and we always learn better when we're doing things, going through the motions, repetition. If you're just watching, then you're losing that next level of learning. So you always want to make sure that when you do observe, you're taking notes, you're making a video reel and you're like, okay, they're doing that, they're doing that, they're doing that. Or if you're forgetful like me, write down what they're doing so that you can reflect, okay, that patient looked like that, presented like that, the physical therapist did that. Ooh, 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 I want to ask that physical therapist a question at this time. Ba, 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 ba. Speaking of questions, that's the next thing I want to talk about. Questions. You're going to have a lot of questions. You're a freaking aide. You're a physical therapist aide or a volunteer. You're just getting into this profession. You're going to have a lot of questions. And guess what? That's okay. For those of you who feel ashamed that or guilty that you're asking a lot of questions or you have a lot of questions, you should never feel guilty for being curious. I attribute a lot of where I am. I actually, I attribute all of where I am today because I never stopped being curious. I was able to do all these things in my life, go on YouTube, make these videos, be here with you guys as a community because I was curious, what is life like when you're on YouTube, right? It's just curiosity. So you're going to ask a lot of questions. So. What I want you to do, I have some tips for you because I want your, your questions to be answered. Here are some tips for you. Number one, if a physical therapist and a patient is talking about physical therapy related things like their plan of care, the assessment, what they're finding about anything related to their injury, you as an aide or volunteer, don't say anything. Just watch. And remember, like I said, write your questions down because that's the time for the PT to interact with the patient and so they can build that rapport. Now, if there's another conversation going on and they're talking something about something a little bit more casual, sports, news, politics, Trump, Biden, whatever it may be, then maybe you can step in and say, oh, hey, uh, uh, Justin, I had a quick question. Um, you know, when you were doing that to the shoulder and you were lifting it and you were saying, does that hurt? And then you moved it a different way and you said, does that hurt? Uh, what were you doing there? And if someone was shouting me, I'd be like, oh, hey, that's a great question. Let me show you what. And then I actually show you in front of the patient and the patient is actually learning too. So guess what? You and the patient, bam, double whammy, best friends. Let's go. Okay, and then my last tip for you is to always ask if there's any downtime and you feel like you're not really contributing or anything like that, just always ask the physical therapist that you're shadowing, hey, is there anything that you need me to do? 
It is such a simple question to ask, but super valuable. Because like I mentioned in the other video before, as a PT aide, you're gonna be doing a lot. So maybe some tables need to be cleaned. Maybe we need to fold some, uh, some towels. Maybe the clinic needs to be organized. You are there to be that extra helping hand to really help the smoothness of the clinic to run a lot better. Like after each, after the uh, physical therapist works on the patient, they leave, it's a lot of work to clean up the table, wipe it down, clean up all the equipment, and then get it ready for the next patient. When an aide or a volunteer can easily do that, and the physical therapist can catch up on his notes, her, his or her notes, or move on and uh, review the patient that's coming in or whatnot. So always ask if there's anything that you need me to do, because if there is something, then they could use you and that brings your value up. And if there isn't, then you just kick back and observe, just like Mr. Takosito over there. Okay, maybe you shouldn't like lie down like him, obviously, but uh, you get the picture. So you're working on your observation hours right now, and you're trying to get more hours there. But there are other places of the PT school application that you need to achieve or fulfill or strengthen. Now, if you're a student, and I know I was, if you're a student right now thinking like, well, where should I focus on? Should I focus on more observation hours or maybe my GRE? Oh shoot, I still need to, I might need to retake a class. Should I do that? Oh my gosh, I only have one year left and I can't do all of that. Where should I focus my time to capitalize my, my energy and my effort so that I can strengthen my application to be the best? Well, guess what? You're in luck. I have a course out right now that you can get into. That'll teach you everything you need to know to get into DPT school. It'll teach you where you need to strengthen and where you kind of don't need to really focus on too much. And there's also ways where we can improve and refine like your essay and maybe your letters of recs or your choices of letters of recs so that you can have the best chance to get into PT school. So if you're interested in that, I have a link in the description so you can learn a little bit more about that. But if you're someone that had an unconventional route and you're like, I didn't go straight from college or straight to college from high school or anything like that, and you're like, you still wanna talk, email me at liftforchange at gmail.com and let's set up a one-on-one -on -one vchat interview or actually you can book me for uh, you can book me for a vchat and i'll put that in the description and we can talk about your unconventional way and how we can strengthen your application today if you have an interview coming up i do interview preps as well that is in the description so you can book me for that interview prep we can prep on zoom i can teach you all the tips and strategies to help you stand out and to really be confident in your physical therapy school interview so i hope this video helped inspire you to take some practical steps to land that physical therapy aid position or that volunteer position during covid 19. It's a hard time and you've been frustrated. Let's get you unfrustrated and let's help you move forward in your application. If you have any questions with any of that, make sure you can comment below or you can email me and make sure you join the Levator Nation Facebook group so that you can be a part of a community because no one wants to go through this alone. So I'll see you there. Make sure you join in for the live. Change people, change people. That's why. We live for change people. Stay lifting, stay aloha. Have a great one, you guys.